choosing his direction before the kick, Billy Dardis. Well executed, Fiji underneath that one effectively. The kickoff such an important part of sevens as is the breakdown driving over that one island. They have that sweet combination of power and pace in their team and also composure to these Irish. This is Dardis Mullen. Cuts back in, occupies two defenders. Can Ireland recycle this ball? No, Fiji come powering through. Speculative it's kick. offside, kicks it into you. You think you just pick it up and go for a run? That's what Fiji do well. Let's look at this breakdown. It's the counter rack. We've seen counter rack from either side. Look at this. Body position nice and low. Thumped. Oh, just pick it up. Yes, right. Two ground. Two. 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 Middle. Point. Set. That one win for Ireland against Fiji coming just last year in Singapore. Ireland on the front foot here. Yeah, they've shelled it. It's going to be a scrum put into Fiji. No, not off to a great start. These type games, you want to look after your ball. See the intention, want to run hard. Again, not scared of setting up the breakdown. They trust in their process of looking after the ball. Ball just not going to hand. Dropping it. And now this where Fiji can be dangerous. They will attack from the dead ball line if they could. Set. Scrum feed from Bukayaro. Playing it to a very narrow blind side here to work with from their own 22. Tackled into touch. Well marshaled by Hugo Lennox. Ball is still alive. Oh, just not Fiji style of play, trying to get around. You're waiting for the step in the Fiji. offload. And small play here by Ireland, pushing them to the side, letting them choose before trying to rush them, using the, the sideline. The bounce kind for Ireland and Comerford in possession. It's away to Mullen now. Mullen injecting some pace into the situation, sent wide, asking the big questions. Are Ireland the offload could lead to the try? It's brilliant. It's Mullen. The pass coming from Mullins. Ireland open the scoring in the third place playoff. Well, that's a lot better. This Ireland team, it started with Mullen. He gave, he's made a little run, and it's the offload. It wasn't good in the beginning. He took off. Gets the pass away. Now you look for the space the runners come around. It was a simple pop pass. Still had to get around, but doesn't stop there. He knows how important these two points are and gets it under the poles. The conversion successful, Ireland lead seven points to nil. Every finishing position crucial as these sides chase the gold at the end of the series. So well coached, Ireland, so adept at managing a seven aside match, especially so the clock. Oh, Dardis hangs it up. Of green. On the money, just over the 10 meter line, and Ireland get their hands back on the ball. Comerford had the 12 on his back, and now it's Dardis. It's off to McNulty. It's asking the questions, but staying safe at the same time, Ireland. They always have players in position to clear out the ruck, and they know they'll recycle ball, build up the phases, and keep having a go at these defensive lines with their strike runners like Lennox. Fiji attack this breakdown. Oh, leave it, leave it. Knock on in the end, coming from Niall Comerford. Sensational stuff from this Fijian side, putting in the numbers, getting out the reward. It's a little bit of a gamble, especially with Ireland. They spread the ball very, very well. That's when they put in the numbers, they sure do go. How about left? Yeah, strike. Strike for the ball. Crouch! Bind! Set! Bugayaro feeds again, this time Fiji don't go blind. Velawa sends it open side. All three Irish defenders converging on the same point of the field in Ireland. Will win back points. possession again. Fiji just can't get going in this first half. Yeah, you got to give credit to this Irish team. They defend like a pack of wild dogs. There's always the inside guy looking after his mate. 
as soon as Fiji oh, yeah, give that first pass, they come into that same yeah. hole to force them into a breakdown. And if they get the offload, they're so isolated, that causes Crouch. a 50 50 pass. That's a That's good defensive Fines. attitude from this Irish team. Set. Billy Dardis feeds the scrum and Ireland will go again at Fiji with seven points already on the board. Mullins takes it to the deck. Gavin Mullin, try scorer for Ireland, off to McNulty, who hits the centre field with a good pass for Comerford. Just look at that ball protection, look at the cleanliness of delivery from there, but the base of the rack, the pass, no good. Great interplay there to keep the move alive for Che Mullins. Mullins looking for the offload again, this time Fiji in the way. And Velawa snatches it clean. But Fiji trapped in the corner of their own red zone. And the attack from behind their try line. Chris, you said they would go from the dead ball line if they had to. And they almost did. One on one on the outside. Asking the question now. Crucial tackle that. Oh, brilliantly done by Lennox. <laughs> At a time he thought he was away. Number six. Oh, kicking the ball this is something you really do not need. Yeah. You're not allowed to stop Back the quick in. throwing. Be penalty. Yeah. And coming in between yeah. is a yellow One card. Play. Strong option. Unforgivable. In a third place. Standard score. He's kicking the ball away. In, in. Trying to stop the quick throw. Yeah. No nine. No nine. No nine. Crouch. Standard. No nine. Ireland going to their normal structure, taking a Set. scrum, playing the numbers game, no pressure at this at this first scrum, so he will go for a run. Ireland one man to the good, they get onto the front foot, Gavin Mullen with the 99 on his back, off to Mullins, but now it's Ireland that make the error. We got the option, scrum will line out, scrum, scrum. This scrum yellow option. card so vital, smart play by Fiji taking the scrum. Not a lot of teams that are going to go powerhouse through that. But they're going to set up and most teams here yeah, in this place of the game, seven points down, keeping you off, might kick it up. I fancy Fiji to go for a little run here. Crouch! Point! Now you break left. Set! Oh! Kilipo Bukayaro to feed the scrum. Six against seven, Fiji one. Man down, the knock-on comes. Knock on. That'll bring it close to the first half. <coughs> the half-time whistle blasts. 30 seconds left on that yellow card for Fiji, who remains six against seven. But Ireland continue to impress in Cape Town. It's seven points to nil. They lead at the half-time break of the third-place playoff. Almost ready to get back underway here. Any chance for... Fiji to get back into this match, they'll be looking to score first in the second half. Back of green. Launched by Sao Tuaranga and under pressure Ireland on the kickoff receipt, they've done well enough in the end. But the penalty comes the way of Fiji, Talatholo. Yeah, Talatholo going in hard. And that's just pure commitment, Fiji won't stop, they'll go play. They start that right now, still down a man off Fiji after that yellow card towards the end of the first half. Rasaku looking for some space. So many Irish players around the ball. Ooh. And they win the penalty. Stayed on his feet long enough, did Jack Kelly. Looking to strike right back as they had that advantage still. Mullins. It's backwards of what? Well, it was backwards. Had it been forwards, that definitely would have been a yellow card action. So Ireland keep the ball alive, knowing that they have the extra man, looking to test this defense of Fiji before they welcome back. Ripped. Their yellow card ripped away in the tackle. Fiji have the chance to counter. Oh, this is what they thrive on. Crucial that he makes this tackle, Mullins. Brilliantly done in the end. The offload quality. Can he get away from this one? Dancing away, Masai Moa having to turn back. Ireland on the scramble. What an offload that is to Saturanga, which should create some problems on the outside in spite of the fact that they're one man down, Fiji. Ireland covering the field with aplomb. Isolated on the outside now. The defender, Mullin. Sees the Fijian slip and Ireland come piling in on Rasaku, who is retreating yeah, back towards his own try line. 
The counter ruck is good, and Ireland winning back again. Todd is clears from the base. Seven against six still, and Mullen looking to capitalize. Once more, it's knocked, and Fiji have the chance to counter. Not willing to let the breakdown happen. Happy to play with six against seven, knowing that any one of their players can beat one or two tackles at the drop of a hat. And now there may be a gap right up the gut. Another brilliant and crucial tackle. And now one last question to be asked. Bukayaro goes stretching away from his opposite number, and Fiji finally score. Oh, the craziest set of play. It was back and forth. It was a little bit messy. Thank you. But this Fijian team just playing. It looks like beach touches. Bukayaro gets in at the end. But for all, all money's worth, I thought Maya Samoa was going to go right through, he turned around. Up and over from Felipe Saturanga. we got a game on our hands here. See this Irish team just changing up, putting their strong part. You see Harry McNulty, one of the safest hands in the business right there. So drilled this Irish team. Make the least errors of any team on tour. Last weekend in Dubai, about 1.8 at 1.8 errors per game. And it shows here they always know what they're doing. They always have a structure. But your structure can only go so far when hits like that are coming in. Here comes Talatholo, the captain of Fiji, growing in confidence in this third place playoff. A tackle by Conroy. Tackle in Tyrol. Not going to slow down uh, Mothena Thangi. Taking it to the line physically. So hard to manage a body like that. Mothena Thangi gets it away. Eventually, scrappy though it may be, popped off by Matana. Fiji constantly retreating. But of course, it just takes one missed tackle for the try line to be wide open to them. Naruvalo dragged down. Oh, no, trying to keep that alive. Talatholo. And he is livid. Yeah, so frustrated. That's what this Fijian team do. Green. They chase and they move you around. It's a scrum, it's not a penalty. So last offload. He got it on the foot. Oh, the frustration Nine in his white. face. Nine. Well, that's rugby sevens for you. The ball's not around. Yes. It hops in different places. But here we go. Two minutes, 57 left on the clock. It's anyone's game. Crouch. Find. Set. Knockout sevens rugby exactly as it should be. Closely contested. 2.45 left to play in the second half in the third place playoff. Ireland. They'll start from deep asking the question there of the defender and getting away, Roche. So efficient in their attacking play, consolidating those meters gained and knowing that there'll be players ready to fire. Kennedy's onto the field for Ireland, but here's the man who's hardest to stop. Once he's in open play, you really are no. not going to re reel him in, Jordan Conroy. Kennedy picks and probes from the base, then sends it wider. Roche getting stuck in again, protected by Harry McNulty. Just phase after phase, waiting for that gap to appear. So accurate with their passing as well. Here is Kennedy with the fresh legs off the bench. He's going to be asking the question of some tired Fijian shoulders. Speculative offload just to keep the move alive, and alive it remains. Billy Dardis almost dragged down. Here's Shane Jennings. Hand on the ball for Fiji, and they win the penalty. Oh, sensational stuff. Para follow. Got in on that hit, got in on the ball. Now Fiji for the first time slowing it down. Taking a line of that to work hard for it. But some thumping tackles. So now we look at this Fijian team. Oh, just look at this hit. Implanted. Come on. It was Matano who made the turnover and a crucial one as. Seven points apiece. If it stays this way, we're going to extra time. A chip over the top might put that out of the question. The bounce will have to be good, oh, fighting for it. Knock-on comes from Fiji. 
Knock on. Yeah, it wasn't a typical chip and chase. Fuck the clack would have been proud of that one. Nanduvalu, he's spotting the space on the outside. One would think, just put it a little bit further, gather it. That's what they do well. They love a little loose play, a loose ball. But this Irish team is relentless on defense. They don't stop. Middle of the field, two sides to choose. Crouch. Point. Set. Steady. Quickly out of the scrum, Kennedy waiting behind that Irish scrum, and he gets it out to the danger man, Conroy. Fiji sharp to that threat. Kennedy trying to protect the ball. Fiji compiling into the breakdown. The counter ruck is good. In fact, it's great. That was messier than a teenage room. And Fiji goes. Here we go. We are past the Huda now. One score to win it. Seven points apiece. If there's a breakdown, we go to extra time. Fiji are going to ask the question. They're going to spread it right to left and left to right. And eventually, they're hoping to find one of their power players, Joseba Tarathola, the captain of his nation. Dust down, takes third, and walks away. Fiji going coast to coast, side to side. And Tarathola. The eye says it all. He knew he was going left. Oh, there we go. so difficult to stop he's elusive he's quick he's big he's strong where do you stop a man like that oh, what a game on the buzzer they take it the kick is up and the kick is over the flying fijians living up to the name right at the end of the captain talatolo scoring the try and it is fiji that are victorious in the third place playoff by 14 points to 7.